What is up guys, it is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and this Sunday is WWE Fastlane. Guys, the final stop on the road to WrestleMania. Let's get right into my predictions. Let's go. Okay everyone, now initially Braun Strowman versus Shane McMahon was meant to be on the Fastlane card. However, it has since been pulled. I believe they're holding it off until WrestleMania. So, that match will not be in this video. Once again, as I say in every single video, this is recorded before the Go Home Smackdown. Therefore, meaning any matches added, I will add in the description of the video as well as my prediction. Without further ado, the first match is the Intercontinental Championship match. Big E defending his Intercontinental Championship against the new Apollo Crews. Apollo Crews recently going under a gimmick change where he is now embracing his Nigerian roots. Uh, I'm a fan of it. You know, the accent sort of came out of nowhere, but hey-ho, at least they have offered an actual explanation for it. However... I do think Big E is retaining. I think Big E is going to hold the championship into WrestleMania. Maybe he'll lose it there. I'm not too sure. But it is unfortunate because Apollo's just gone on, uh, undergone this change. However, I see Big E retaining. Next up, we have the Women's Tag Team Championship match. An exact same match from last month's Elimination Chamber. Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler defending their Women's Tag Team titles against the SmackDown Women's Champion, Sasha Banks, and the WWE 2021 Women's Royal Rumble winner, Bianca Belair. Belair and Banks are meant to be facing each other at WrestleMania. Will they be doing that as Tag Team Champions? I'm going to say yes. Uh, I think Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair are going to win the uh, WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. It's just an interesting dynamic, isn't it? They're not a real team, but the Tag Team Champions facing each other at WrestleMania. I can see it happening. And uh, why else would they book it again if they didn't want to change the result? I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Banks and Belair to win the tag straps. Next up, we have Alexa Bliss versus Randy Orton. Now, this was a match that I didn't see coming. Alexa Bliss saying that if Randy can beat her, she'll be out of his life. Uh, I don't think this match is going to go ahead as an actual match. I think this is literally set up just to have the return of the fiend Bray Wyatt. I hope he comes back this month. It has to be fast lane. Otherwise, where is he for WrestleMania? This is the final chance for you to bring the fiend back. So he's coming back. I'm, I'm calling it right now. Hopefully with like a burnt charcoal melted mask, something cool. But if this match does go ahead, I'm going to go with Alexa Bliss winning, uh, even though I don't think it's going ahead. But, you know, it's. I feel like it's going to be they both get in the ring. Alexa says something. The Fiend comes back, attacks Randy. That's that. But if it is a match, let's just say Alexa Bliss. Next up, we have... Drew McIntyre versus Sheamus. Now, initially, guys, everyone thought this was going to be a number one contenders match. They also thought it was going to be last man standing. However, it's already confirmed that Drew McIntyre is facing Bobby Lashley at WrestleMania for the WWE Championship. Drew McIntyre and Sheamus never fail to put on a fantastic heavyweight match, and I can't wait to see what they're going to do on pay-per-view. They deliver on Raw, on weekly television. Now we're paying for it, so hopefully... They put on an absolute slobber knocker. But either way, Drew McIntyre is going over. And finally, we have the Universal Championship match. The Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, defending the Universal Championship against Daniel Bryan. I thought I'd uh, slap the, you know, Daniel Bryan side plates on my uh, custom Universal Championship here. So Bryan versus Reigns. If Bryan wins, it's Edge versus Bryan at WrestleMania. If Reigns wins, it's Edge versus Reigns at WrestleMania. Do I think they're going to do a triple threat? No. I don't know what Daniel Bryan's going to be doing for WrestleMania. Maybe he can compete for the Intercontinental Championship. However, I don't see him in the main event this year. I think it's going to be Roman Reigns versus Edge one on one. And there you go. Roman Reigns to retain the WWE Universal Championship, where he will then face Edge at WrestleMania. Mania. Fastlane looks to be a great show this weekend. Not lots of matches confirmed as of right now. We might get two or three, maybe, I don't know, uh, this Friday on SmackDown, maybe even on the kickoff show. 
we're not too sure. However, the card at the moment, it's short, it's sweet, it's full of great contests, and I can't wait for the show this Sunday. And it is rare where I say, I can't wait for Fastlane, because it is normally a dud pay-per-view. It's the final stop on the road to WrestleMania, guys, just over Three weeks away now, I believe. I had to think about that for a second. But either way, Fastlane, going to be a great show. Let me know what your guys' predictions are in the comments section down below. I will be watching live, so rest assured you will be getting reaction videos. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.